Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for Friday, July 30. Today we also commemorate St. Peter Chrysologus, a bishop and a doctor of our church. St. Peter was born about the year 380 at Imola in Emilia and there entered the priesthood. He was elected bishop of Ravenna in 424 and instructed his flock with his learned sermons and writings. He died around the year 450. St. Peter Chrysologus, pray for us. us. Let's go through the pages. For the breviary, we're in volume 3. Our hymn is um, 811, First Antiphon 790. The reading will be taken in the common of um, pastors at 1751. The canticle 656. For the Christian prayer book, it's hymn number 8. 760 for the antiphon, 1426 for the reading 691 for the canticle let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer god come to my assistance lord make haste to help you glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen alleluia <laughs> my soul the key of heaven to his feet thy tribute bring ransom deepest Lord forgiven evermore his praises sing praise him. You will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sins. My offenses truly, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart. Then the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar.
all the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. <coughs> Truly, with God is hidden the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace who vent their anger against him. Those go in disgrace who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from the, some dark place of the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, Look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fugitives from among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge who bear wooden idols and pray to gods that cannot save. Come here and declare in council together who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old. Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God, there is no just and saving God but me? Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying, Only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All, All the, the descendants, descendants of Israel, Israel will glory in, in the Lord's, Lord's gift, gift of victory. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Go within His gates, giving thanks. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal His merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let, Let us, us go, go into, into God's, God's presence, presence singing, singing for joy. joy. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Simply I learned about wisdom, and ungrudgingly do I share. Her riches I do not hide away. For to man, she is an unfailing treasure. Those who gain this treasure win the friendship of God, to whom the gifts they have from discipline commend them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Wisdom and faith is about applying our knowledge to our daily life by making good decisions. Wisdom helps us recognize the importance of others, the importance of keeping God central in our lives. Wisdom is, in the dictionary, is defined as the quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment, the quality of being wise. Wisdom is defined in both with the common word knowledge. The difference come in Christians value the importance of others. The worldly value is to be wise for self. 
Wisdom from God drives us to invest on our eternal life in heaven. Wisdom from the world drives us to invest in our worldly life only. Our mortal bodies is designed only to exist approximately 72 years, according to CDC survey. Our immortal spirit is forever in the loving arms of Jesus. Our friendship with God is considered unfailing treasure. It is always going to be there for us. A sure shot investment that will yield guaranteed return of love and peace forever. The catch is the unfailing treasure also known as good news is designed to be shared to others. The gift of salvation is free for us to accept or not. The gift of God's wisdom will guide us unfailingly. Let the prophets, let the peoples proclaim the wisdom of the saints. Let, let the, the peoples, peoples proclaim the wisdom of the saints. With joyful praise, let the church tell forth the, the wisdom, wisdom of, of the saints. saints. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let the, the peoples, peoples proclaim the wisdom of the saints. Those who are learned will be as radiant as the sky in all its beauty. Those who instruct the people in goodness will shine like the stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Those who are learned will be as radiant as the sky in all its beauty. Those who instruct the people in goodness will shine like the stars for all eternity. Christ is the good shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise and thank him as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Christ, you decided to show your merciful love through your holy shepherds. Let, Let your mercy always reach us through them. them. Through your vicars, you continue to perform the ministry of shepherd of souls. Direct, Direct us, us always, always through, through our, our leaders. leaders. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, you served as physician of our bodies and our spirits. Continue, continue to, to fulfill, fulfill your mystery of life and holiness in us. You taught your flock through the prudence and love of your saints. Grant, Grant us continual growth in holiness under the direction of our pastors. At this time, let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and petitions. 
together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one praying with us this morning. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you hear and answer our prayers as we say, Nourish your people, Lord. We now pray the prayer your Son Jesus has taught us. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you made Peter Chrysologus an outstanding preacher of your incarnate word. May the prayers of St. Peter help us to cherish the mystery of our salvation and make its meaning clear in our love for others. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May, May the, the Lord, Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, evil and bring us to everlasting life. life. Amen. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have, Have a great, great day. day.